Hi, I'm Ryan Finch, Vice President of the Growth for Apex Pro Track Coach. Today we're going to talk about the tools you can use as a novice to improve yourself as a driver. Some of the biggest tools I feel as a new driver is first off asking your fellow drivers. Co-driving their vehicle or having a fast driver to drive your vehicle with you to show you maybe what you're not uh, pushing the limits of it. Maybe sometimes you need to learn how to dial back your limits. Um, I found that co-driving other people's vehicles and having local pros drive my vehicle really showed me how I can improve quickly. The next following step after that would be using video to your advantage. Um, you always try to recreate what you think happened in the lap in your head or the, uh, the session, the run, but it's always better to actually see it, replay it, being able to not remember the moment with adrenaline, but actually take the time to see straight up what the video is showing you. So video is another very valuable tool and resource after having a co-driver that can help you out both at autocross and on the track, regardless of the series. The next logical step uh, is data. Uh, as a novice, it's sometimes hard to jump right into data because you have so much going on between your runs, it's a little confusing, but uh, once you get comfortable, data's the next step. You can see and compare yourself to another competitor, yourself, uh, or even your co-driver to see every little difference of how the car is placed on track, how braking is done through G-load, how acceleration is done through a G-load, and then you can find down to tenths of a second the difference between you and a fellow driver to try to find out if you need to go shallower, deeper, or accelerate sooner than someone else. So a great example of why data was very helpful at the SCCA So Nationals this year is uh, my co-driver and I were constantly comparing runs to see what we were doing differently and each person drives a car differently even though it's the same car, same course. Um, I found myself attacking a first slalom element with a lot more speed uh, and very loosely trying to hold on to it, get it through at the ragged edge where I found out a more conservative approach with a less mile an hour entry was a lot tighter, a lot more focused and able to be on power and exit much better than I was. It was roughly between five to seven mile an hour difference going to the next element of the track, which uh, dialing back on my third run got me right back up to the, the top three spots. So it was really helpful to have a co-driver and use, use that data to compare. At the end of the day, every second, tenth, or thousandth matters. It's very important to use every tool available to you to get that edge on your competition.